Hey everyone, Andang here for some more Lord of the Rings Online. Yes, it's once again that time to make our way back into Lotro. So let's go ahead and do just that. When we last left off, we were getting ready to talk to Faramir. I Orson. My scouts did see him, but they had no good tidings to relate. They last saw him moving eastward at great speed, bearing the mask of Karazgar about his person. He passed into Gorgroth and has not been seen since. I spoke with Berggrond. He believes that Horizon will use the Mask of Kavazgar to rally men of the East to his banner, becoming once again the commander he wished to be. Did he say his star was on the rise? Perhaps so. And perhaps not. I should not envy a rise in his position if the true weeping warrior should come seeking the pretender. True. Iorzin has gone beyond our reach for now. His deception was not entirely unexpected to me, but I wished he might act otherwise. Gandalf whispers. The price of his aid is clearer now, but I deem his help to be worthwhile all the same. I will take this casket containing the dust of Isildur's bones and arrange with King Elisar for a wagon to bring it north. I believe its arrival at Rivendell will at last fulfill Isildur's oath and grant him rest. I will also examine this broken key. If it truly unlocks the door to a weapon that cannot be overcome, we will need to treat it with care. Even at the end, Gothmog sought death and despair for his enemies, and we must not forget that he counted us in, a, in that group. This broken key could be one last trap. One final act of vengeance against those who served him, his ultimate defeat. I have exhausted my study of the Black Book. Vowen told us what he can, and it is with a measure of sorrow that I close it for good. I will turn my attention now to this broken key and Gothmog's final words. But you should take a moment to rest and recover your strength. Much of the evil within Minas Morgul has been opposed this day and defeated. For that you should celebrate. The epilogue will become available from Mithrandir at Ekad Uriel once you have completed chapters 1 through 14 of the Black Book of Mordor. Alright. Oh boy, these cloaks are much better. So much better. Uh, we're losing tactical mitigation, though. I see the matter of the broken key has captured your interest. What was the other cloak we had? They're the same one? That's silly. They look the same. Good deal, good deal. Getting those Lotra points. Completed. Man, only five Lotra points for completing the whole of the Black Book of Mordor. These point giftings have gotten such low amounts of late. But I guess can't I can't complain when they've made the whole game free, basically. <sighs> Let's see. We don't need that right now. I see the matter of the broken key has captured your interest, as it has mine. I have studied it closely, but that examination revealed no distinguishing marks upon its surface, and no clue to its origin. The top of the key appears to have been broken off, but several teeth remain. 
Not enough to match the key with a particular lock, however. And unlikely to open, it should be... Should we chance upon the correct one? Pity. I will give it back to you, with the hopes that you may find someone who knows about this key or others like it. Gandalf leans on his staff and looks away for over the encampment. I've been thinking about Gothmog's words. He said he was given this key by a Morgul slave. And it would unlock a weapon that could not be overcome. I cannot imagine what this weapon might be. But we must not let it fall into the hands of evil. And there is another thing, Stafteng. I get the sense that Gothmog himself did not know what this key might unlock. If he knew the location of such a weapon, would he not claim it at once? But he told you. He searched in vain. There is something peculiar about this. Good luck, friend. Have fun trying to find somebody. Oh, man. So now we have to go back to, like, the secret spot in the secret place. In the thingamadoo. So I guess we're going to have to do that. Um, let's see if world chat's open. Nope. Still closed, man. Still closed. Now then. Right, where's the hub spot? I don't remember. I don't remember. So it's the other ACAD, right? Jaju, what's up? How's it going? Nope, definitely not this fun. Be wary, my friends. Evil spoils these the grounds. The land one, it's the land one. Pretty sure this time. Will you hear my plight? Hey, Ray Luniel, what's up? How's it going? Sorry I haven't responded to you yet. I've been uh, preoccupied, but this weekend, which for me the weekend is, uh, starts on Wednesday. <laughs> on Wednesday, I'll be sure to respond to you and hopefully get the, get that video going. I don't think I've ever looked at the map of Osgiliath in the the after the battle. That looks really cool. Anyway. Did they change how this map looks? It looks much clearer than before. I feel like they added a fade or something behind the letters. I don't know, it looks a lot nicer. Than I remember it being. Anyway, we actually do need to go up to Vales of Anduin, I think, or whatever. So we probably need to head back to where we just were. But we'll see what this will take us to. How may I help you, friend? To hold this. Eating breakfast? Okay, cool. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Today's my Thursday, so... Almost through the week here. And we're almost through the Black Book of Mordor. We're almost through our Spyro series. We're like finishing series left and right. We finished our Mountain Blade series. We finished our Transport Fever series. We're getting ready to finish Spyro. We're getting ready to finish this one. We finished our permadeath, although we didn't mean to. Been finishing a lot of stuff. 
We hear tell of great deeds from far away. But danger is always near. Isn't it in Yarnfest? Pretty sure it's in Yarnfest. Let's go to Airborne. Yeah, rip dang fry. <laughs> hmm. Like a child in the car, that fry got ripped right out of our hands. Seriously, kids will not- like, if there's McDonald's fries in the car, the kid will get it. The kid will get it, one way or another. What do you need? And Moria just happened to be that kid for us. <laughs> oh man, alright. Pretty sure it's in Yarnfest. Pretty sure. Try there. I really don't remember. It's so hard not to click on quests on a character that doesn't do side quests, man. It is so hard. Because some of these quests I know I really enjoy. And it's just like, ugh. But it's for the greater good. We get to understand the story better. Find the gap. Clearly, I totally don't remember where this is. So here's the throne area, I know that much. Hey, Miss Weaver, what's up? And this is one of my favorite thrones, one of my favorite leaders in the game. Just super cool. Nine. It's like over here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Right, we'll wait. We'll wait for the lag server. Okay, now we have to find the secret thing. Which I never can remember where it's at. Here we go. The fact that he's just hanging out in here, by the way, super creepy. Just saying. Like, you really should uh, maybe find a new home, buddy. At least clean up the cobwebs. I mean, seriously, dude. At least do a little bit of cleaning in here. <laughs> Make it a little bit more hospitable. What a surprise, my friend. I did not expect to see you again. And because we are so close, I will forgive your... unheralded intrusion into my home. Ah, just, just a jest, just a jest. Uh, you are welcome here at any time, I guess. How goes the examination of the Black Book, written by my thrice great-grandfather Vohen? Do not forget that it belongs to me. And if it proves valuable, I would welcome payment equivalent to its value. Kill gestures at the rooms on the wall. 
When we first discovered this place, it frightened me. But I have found myself coming in here more and more often. I find that the aura here claims, calms, and relaxes me. <laughs> that might be toxic fumes. <laughs> it is not so for Lord Nine. He is still not happy about this chamber. But it is so old, and my claim to this home of my forebearers is so clear that he dares not do anything about it. For that the Lord of the Iron Hills has my respect and the stillness of my tongue. Many are the stories I might tell of him were it otherwise. True tales all, though he might not agree. So everyone is happy. 99,000 Glowine Ballads, Mist Weaver, jeez, Louise. I need to come up with uh, some new rewards. <laughs> or maybe raise the prices, I don't know. But what brings you here, Staff Deng? You shall kill the Broken Key. And he studies it carefully. Do, do you know something? I think I have seen this shape before. I cannot be certain, but yes, it is worth a try. It will take me some time to dig it out again, but if you fi if you go to one of the metal workers of Yarn Fast, I will meet you once I find it. Wait for me by the forges of the lower level of Yarn Fast, Staff Deng. There you will find the best and the fastest of Yarnfast's metal workers. When you die, your son shall take over and so on. I'm pretty sure I'm older than you, Mist Weaver. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Does, does my kid have to take over? Is that what we're agreeing to right now? I mean, we know Lotro will still be around by then. We, we know that much. Oh my. No, it's not this way. Um, is it even inside here? I honestly do not know. Does this pub have a name? Or is it just like the place. I don't know. Something to do with a wolf and a bird. Hey, Queen of the Guards, what's up? Right, we're gonna try heading out, see if it's inside here or out there. John War, what's up? <laughs> Where's the old man here? Hmm. By my grandsire's beard. By your grandsire's beard. <laughs> What's over here? Looks important. The wealth of Khazadum is known. Fair gems and mithril deck its throne. And yet that gold rich kingdom lacks the heart of Hauburg, sword, and axe. And so <laughs> we went forth seeking iron. Iron hard and iron, iron cold. Iron cold, yeah. That's so cool. 
Saltsozi, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you here. Those dwarves indeed. Here's another building that looks exactly the same. We got the Iron River over there. Looking really crazy at this hour. I find it interesting that, like, this is a good use of iron, right? Most of uh, Tolkien's world features bad uses of iron. This is one of the places that has a good use of it. If you will. Um, I guess they're inside here. I really don't remember where these forges are. Maybe this way? Yeah, the music in Erebor is awesome. No, this is just the mining stuff. For years in Yarnfast, all was well. But ages end, and times grow fell. Thangorodrim fell in thunder, and split the world's stone spine asunder. Shattered was the hold of iron. Iron hard, and iron cold. Alright, chat. <laughs> Clearly I'm lost. Where are the metal workers? <laughs> in Yarnfest, please and thank you. You don't remember either? Great. We'll be lost together. Definitely not up here. I mean, I hear metalworking. <laughs> it's part of the music. Thought he was by the rest of the metalworker quests? Which helps me not at all. Where, where is... Where is that? Why do I always stream while you're at work? Because this is before I'm at work. Like, it's either this, or I stream at, like, midnight eastern. So take your pick. All of Europe has decided that this is the better time slot. Midnight Eastern. <laughs> hey, I try to stream later on my days off, which are Wednesdays and Thursdays. Cause America. Change your schedule. Hey, I, I used to stream at midnight. I had less people watch usually. I really don't know where the metal workers of Yarnfast are. How come I don't show my cleavage when I stream? I mean, I do have like a v-neck, right? I, I could like really stretch it. Like... <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> now, now we're good. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chromite. But seriously, 
where's the quest? <laughs> you end at midnight, so it's perfect. You'll watch as your bedtime entertainment. Well, see, usually the midnight would get pushed to like one. And see, then I'd be up till like three. My time, which is central time. <laughs> Are there any spoilers, or is this in-game stuff? You just started playing and you're loving it so far. Uh, yeah, technically this is spoilers. Uh, this is a spoiler stream, technically. The wiki is no help at all. Well, that's fun. I did not have this much trouble finding this the first time. It's definitely not here. Go under nine, Zer. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that takes you up to nine, Zer, yeah. Here we go. I was in here. I didn't go over here. I forgot that this is part of the bar. Oh my gosh. Hey Jay, what's up? Yes, what can I do for you? The metal worker looks you over, looks at you with surprise. You mean you don't know? Oh, you're waiting for someone. Kill tail spinner. He suddenly makes a great deal of sense. Zatzaruka. Kill Tail Spinner hurries towards you and the metal worker falls silent. Gamer for Christ? Oh cool. Welcome, welcome. I found it. De Glamour, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you here. When I was clearing out my father's home, I chanced upon these mold and a small locked box. I thought little of these artifacts, but, and put them away with the rest of the odds and ends. But look at this. It's okay, Ending. You just need someone who plays the game to explain it to you. You're too busy. <laughs> You're too busy cleavage streaming to pay attention. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm lagging really bad for you? I'm sorry to hear that. I don't have any drop frames on my end. Yeah, Twitch is weird sometimes. Hey, take care, Queen of the Guards. <laughs> Regos, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> Hallow shape of the key, the keys given to you by Gothmog rest comfortably in the indentation. Using this mold, the metal workers here could fashion a duplicate of this key. And I warrant it will unlock the box I found, or I am no Zeluka. But I am a Zeluka, so give this mold and these instructions to this fine dwarf. And once the key is forged, I will meet you back in the hidden chamber. This should not take long. I will have a new key forged for you in a, just a short time. Just, just wait here. I will forge away. Just wait five minutes. And then we'll have it for you. Alright, well, I'm gonna have a cutoff point in about five minutes anyway. What do you think, chat? Should I wait five minutes and do the next part of this quest? Or should we just go ahead and end off here? It's up to all of you. Why do a cleavage stream when you can just do a... Never mind, family friendly stream. <laughs> Nearly forgot.
You're doing Where Dragons Dwell? No, no, this is the Black Book of Mordor. Uh, we will do Where Dragons Dwell when Where Dragons Dwell is done, and I've forgotten enough of the story to do it again. <laughs> Goodbye, Nanner Muffin. Oh, gosh. How is that a thing? How is that a thing? First, I get called Nanner Boy at work because I stock bananas, and now I'm called Nanner Muffin because Gussie Moose and her horde of crazy people. Yeah, I am in the Grey Mountains or the Iron Hills or whatever. That is true. <laughs> Is true. Uh, but this is the epilogue to the Black Book of Mordor. Alright, I guess we'll wait. Those other streamers seem pretty evil. <laughs> they can be. But, I mean, I'm pretty evil with telling Gussie about the letter E. I seriously, and I'm, I'm still seriously thinking about doing this. Um, editing together a Sesame Street episode where they teach about the letter E, which I have the YouTube clip. I've got it. Editing that together with Gussie jumping out of a helicopter because she accidentally pressed the letter E, I think it'd be perfect. But I haven't, I haven't done the edits yet. But man, it'd be hilarious. Is that gonna be Sheep 2.0? Oh my gosh. I'm not evil. <clears throat> I guess we might as well sell some all stuff while well we're waiting. And yet, not all. And yet, it's not. How do we still have levels? You know, we can get rid of those. We can, we can get rid of those, and those. And those. I guess we'll keep those. Innocent whistling. to take care of with 52 seconds to go these halls will be great once more The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazad-dûm. Probably should check to see if there are any lore master ones in those, but oh well, we got plenty of allies anyway. Got plenty of allies anyway. Yep, it's finally ready. Okay. Here you go. May this key unlock whatever it is you seek to unlock. If the container be of Zelruka make, perhaps it is better for me to hope that this key will properly lock it away and rid us of whatever madness Keel Tail Spinner weaves now.
flying at your feet. And we can go back to the hidden chamber. He unlocks the black push-up bra of Mordor. <laughs> Man, Chromite, you are very much so wanting me to be a cleavage streamer today. <laughs> the key is forged. Then let us see if it opens the box I found in the same place as the mold. I assume the box belonged to my mother and contained her decorative jewels. But perhaps it is not so. I've set it on the table there. The key clicks in the lock. Inside the box you find a small shard of glass and nothing else. A shard of glass, no more than a hand's breadth in size. This is the treasure? Does a LM need a pet to have good DPS? No. No, Clarky. In fact, Reese, they've been, uh, it depends on what line you go into. If you're, if you go into the pet line, then yeah, you want your pet to be more involved. Um, but pet DPS seems to have been lowered recently, and lore master DPS seems to have risen. And so, I've found that I do, like, my pet is, I could not summon my pet and still be doing basically about the same. How many points to redeem for you to do the rest of the stream with a Russian accent? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a great question. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a lot. I guess if you redeemed the uh, pick a voice to read as a few times, that might work. This is the treasure. I do not know what I expected, Staftang, but I expected more than this. It seems quite ordinary. Why would anyone lock this away and then break the key? You told me you were acquainted with Gandalf the Wizard. Perhaps he will know what to make of this broken glass, if there is anything to make of it. I fear you will be wasting his time, but if you think he will not mind, you should ask anyway. Where has he gone? Hey, show the skies, welcome back. You tell Kill that Gandalf recently spent some time in the lands far to the south, but the wizard intended to journey north once again, alongside a wagon. He is likely to be at the Beoringus by now. Gandalf may know what to make of the strange shard of glass. Look for him at the Beoringas. Hmm. This will go to here. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Currency capped? What? Oh, right, for embers. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, why do I got a gold cap for? Well met. Um. To hold the base? How do you even get embers from deconstructing gear? And you can redeem them at vendors, although I don't remember if you actually have to have rep first, which I definitely don't have because I haven't been doing side quests, so hopefully I don't, and hopefully I can get better gear, but who knows. I mean, Chrome We hear knows, tell of sure, great but... deeds from far away, but danger is always near. To the Bearing Gaius. Yep.
Yeah, you use this to deconstruct gear, and then that gives you embers, which you can then spend on other gear. It's great. Did you learn anything about the broken key given to you by Gothmog? The bones of a Seolor have come part of the way, but I traveled ahead of the wagon to come once again, test Grimbeorn's hospitality. He is prone to grumbling, but the meals he serves are without compare on this side of the Misty Mountains. Did you learn anything about the broken key given to you by Gothmog? You tell Gandalf what transpired in Yarnfest and show him the glass shard you obtained from the locked box in Kill's home. He studies it closely. Ah, a broken piece of glass. This does not appear to be a weapon of any kind. Is it possible Gothmog's key might have unlocked more than one container? Unless... Gandalf holds the shard up to his eye and squints through it. The glass is cloudy, as if it contains something which obscures my vision. Oh. The glass is cloudy, as if it contains something which obscures my vision. It moves from side to side as it stares, as I stare at it, almost like... Gandalf looks up suddenly and clutches the black book hanging from his belt. He flips it open and peers through the shard of glass at one weathered page. There is hidden writing here, Stuffteng. It is as I suspected from the very onset. I did not think we could find the means to reveal it, but you have done so. There is a moving radiance held within this glass. It reminds me of something. The rotating beacon atop Barad Curion. Tower of the Crescent Moon in Minas Morgul. Is this a shard of glass from the beacon in the tower's uppermost chamber? You have seen moon letters before, and so have I. Can it be that Vohan wrote this secret words in the light of that beacon, knowing they could only be revealed by the same light? But what did he seek to hide? Did he record the location of the weapon sought by Gothmog? We must read the secret writing in the Black Book, Stafteng. Let me know when you're ready to do so. Alright, well when we return we will finish out the epilogue. That will probably be tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. I'm super excited. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, then we'll probably finish Spyro on Wednesday, hopefully. And then on Thursday, start uh, our Star Wars series because we had uh, subscribers and patrons vote on what game I should play next. And uh, it was Star Wars last I checked. Let me see how this poll's doing. Da da da. But what Star Wars game, man dang? Uh, Jedi Fallen Order, the new Star Wars game. And it is still in the lead, being out Destiny 2 and Skyrim. Sold! <laughs> so yeah, we'll hopefully start that on Thursday, but we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Spyro might take longer than expected. This might take longer than expected. I might have something come up in real life. But that's the current plan. Is the dark side stronger? But yeah, can't wait to finish this out. And, uh, you know, in another, like... <laughs> Four years, we'll probably start the next, <laughs> the next quest line on this character. Oh my goodness, it's been quite a journey. 
we started back in like 2010 going through the epic story on this character. It's now 2020 and we're just now finishing out the Black Book of Mordor, man. It's been a long journey. Anyway, I'll see you guys again real soon for that. Long journeys are the best, for sure. Alright, uh, Beck Booba's actually playing Lotro, let's go ahead and raid them. Is the Black Book of Mordor worth playing? Yes, absolutely. Is the epilogue of the Black Book of Mordor play worth playing? Eh, it's alright. But yeah, the Black Book is definitely worth it. Alright, let's go ahead and raid Beck. Ooh, bah. Get those emotes ready. Get that hype going. Let's have fun with this raid. I'll see you guys again tomorrow, hopefully, for some more Lotro for the end of the Black Book. But that, of course, is not till next time. Take care, everybody. And let's have fun with this raid! <laughs>